Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are live in Hollywood, California, getting set for the big showdown Thursday, January 30th in Miami, Southern California, the same week as the Super Bowl, Jake Paul and Edson Gibb. We'd like to thank DAZN, who will be streaming the fight live exclusively. So download the download, download the DAZN app and subscribe now. And in the United Kingdom, it will be streamed live on Sky Sports. This fight is brought to you by Eddie Hearn's Matchroom Boxing USA in association with OP Talent. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster. And besides this fight, ladies and gentlemen, what a card it's going to be. Not one, but three world title fights on the same card, headlined by Demetrius Andrade putting his middleweight championship on the line against Luke Keeler. Tevin Farmer versus Jojo Diaz. A lot of trash talk between those two guys. That fight has been over a year in the making. It will happen in Miami, and it will be for the Super Featherweight Championship of the World. Also, it's the return of Danny Roman. He'll be taking on MJ Akhmadaliev for his Super Bantamweight world title. Once again, Tickets available now, Ticketmaster.com, Thursday, January 30th. Without further ado, let's introduce to you the combatants on the stage now. We'll start with the man to my right. He has approximately 20 million YouTube followers from Ohio, living, training now in Southern California. Please welcome Jake Paul. Yeah, you. A-side, A-side. And his opponent, the seven-figure gibber, the beast from the east, ladies and gentlemen, from Saudi Arabia, but he represents Bath, England. He is 2-0 and in his amateur boxing career. He has over 2 million YouTube subscribers. He is trained by Vidal Riley. Please welcome the man simply known as Gib. Hello, boys. Big Gibber here. <laughs> the boo. room is silent. Hey, Logan, you little loser. Don't fucking boo me. <laughs> All right, Jake, let's start with you first. This is your professional debut. No headgear, 10-ounce gloves, six rounds. What are your thoughts on this matchup? You know, I just want to start off by saying thank you all for coming here today. Uh, I'm excited. I'm, I'm more prepared than ever. Uh, you know, for me, uh, this, this sport of boxing I've fallen in love with, and it's an honor to be on the, on the card with uh, some legends, some world champions. Uh, and I'm excited to put on a good show. You know, we've been putting in the work, training our asses off in Big Bear, with the, with the legend right here, it's an honor to be uh, working with him. And uh, I, I look forward to, you know, knocking this, uh, this big nose kid out uh, January 30th. So that's my game plan. That's what's going down. How did this fight all come together for you? This, this fight started at the Challenger Games. I called this man out. I'm not sure if he knew who I was, but now it's all fallen into the plan. Now here we are, Miami. Now you, you, you look nervous. Are you nervous? Doing something like this is something new when it comes to fighting, I'm so sure. You're, ner gonna... you're nervous. Nervous against you? No. Fighting against you. Look, you no. look scared right now. Me? Like your, your posture, everything. <laughs> well, you will see a lot. We'll see. You said that I believe you're the, you're the ace. You're the, you believe you're the ace side of this fight. Why do you think you're the ace side? The ace side. The man's channel has fallen. In all the social media platforms, he's fallen. Instagram, YouTube, Twitter. He took down my video for a specific reason because I hurt his feelings. The receding hairline comments obviously got to him. And there we go. My, my mom has more followers on Instagram than you. Did you know that? <laughs> then why are you falling? Why are there did, no interaction? Did you know that? that you my go? mom has more followers on Instagram than you? Yeah, that's fine. But how come you got no interactions? Where are your 20 million followers now? Nowhere. You got your goons up there. Just know I made more money off your name than them saying yes for the rest of their lives. You play FIFA, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. I play FIFA. That's what I do. What do you do? Get 10K views a video. <laughs> Yo, welcome. This is, this is the real world where people don't give a fuck about views. This is boxing. You do. And you do. All That's you why you took down the video. All you're talking That's about why you is down the video. When it comes to boxing, you're going to be stuck as a YouTuber for the rest of your That's life. That's what I'm going to do. You're wearing a fucking Hawaiian tourist shirt, bro. But you don't like it. You're wearing, wearing a white beer. You're wearing a white beer. That's who's in. Are those Skechers? Do you know what a Richard Milley is? Richard Milley's a white. Nice. This kid's a joke. He has, granted, had more interactions, more likes on his uh, social media than you have. Why do you think that that's, is? That's not a fact, actually. That's not a fact, Todd. Fact, fact, Sorry fact. to interrupt you. Uh, no, I average 50 million views a month currently, and I don't post. I don't consider myself a YouTuber anymore. I'm an entertainer, a pugilist, uh, and it's just not something I'm, I'm focused on. Uh, but you, you, I actually checked Social Blade recently, and you, you have 2 million views this past, past month. 
And so since you want to talk about views, since you're the one that brought it up and Todd brought it up, we could talk about views. 11 million views for a 20 mil sub channel. Um, That's kind imagine, of blocking a lot. Imagine the view when Gib wakes wait, up in the morning. Wait, He's got I, that big nose I, I blocking get this his fight, view. I call that, you into it. He just sees the big fucking nose when he wakes up in the morning. That's his fucking views. You want to talk about views? <laughs> Suck my nuts. As far as the boxing itself, how prepared are you to enter the ring against Jake Paul? This is the fight that I wanted. He didn't want this fight. He originally wanted Fuji Tube, so I forced this fight upon him. So I've been training every day. I've been doing the sparring. I'm doing the running. I'm doing the training. So that's all I got to do. How come you still look like the Pillsbury Doughboy then? Uh, I don't know what I'm... You're not in shape. Huh? I'm not in shape, bro. I'm more conditioned than you. You got outworked by Deji. Round three, you lost your conditioning, out of breath. Big Bear ain't gonna save you. Have you ever fought? Big Bear ain't gonna save you. Have you ever fought three minute rounds? Yes, of course. No, I you have haven't. Donut. Your last fight was of four two minute rounds. Yeah, but I fought. I sparred. Your it. last fight was four Bro, you two minute tired rounds. Round three. You think you're gonna outwork me? Impossible, lad. And you know that. Okay, well, yeah, you yeah, know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, oh, I got a high work rate. I'm gonna come forward. I'm, I'm gonna apply pressure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna outbox you. I'm gonna apply pressure. Bro, you, you have the spotlights. You are a coward. It is fact. Is that, is that, That's why you're going for people like Fuji Tube, Soldier Boy. You, could, you got no heart. That's facts. You could you could barely be a kid who is the same size as you. I'm bigger, faster, stronger, better looking than you now. So bigger, faster, bigger, faster better. stronger, bro, better looking. Bro, you're getting smoked. I don't know where you get this from. You, you fought getting four smoked. two minute rounds. I fought I fought six three minute rounds. You don't know what you're getting yourself into. I had round three. That's not fighting. You're getting I, by. Explain how I got tired when I TKO Deji. Do you not understand? Bro, you fought a guy that had no camp. You got tired against uh, a guy that had no camp. Oh, he had no camp, but you started yours yesterday. You started your camp January 6th in Vegas. American your team uploaded a yesterday. video saying, oh, welcome to the first day of camp, January 6th. Welcome to the, May welcome to the gym. Uh, how was your first day of camp going? And that was two days ago. Did you just start your camp? When did I Because I've been training. When do you think I arrived in America? I don't fuck Recently. Know. So that's why. If you're researching yeah, oh, you just me, arrived. that's why I just arrived. You, you used all your American Airlines miles to come get knocked the fuck out. <laughs> Ooh, I just arrived. So Jake, no one why, fucking cares. Why bro. did you choose to fight him? Obviously, he wasn't on your radar. Why does he get this privilege of stepping in the ring with you? To be fair, he has a strong, loyal fan base that is KSI's fans behind him. I did a Twitter poll say, asking people who I should fight, and he won the poll. And I was like, all right. The winner of the poll should be the one that I fight. I go to Eddie Hearn. I negotiate a deal. I go to Joe Markowski. I negotiate a deal. I get the deal done. Then I bring it to his table. Why did you nearly pull out? Say it again. Out, pull, four days before the end of December, you nearly pulled out. Why? So you... Oh, I did my post. Why no, did you nearly pull out? Yeah, so, so say it again. You did a post, right? You did a post yeah. announcing the fight, yeah. correct? Yeah. And my fight contract wasn't signed. So we use that as that. leverage for the reason to for make that. more money. So you put no more money, money into you my pocket. You've complained. Thank you and so made much. No money. Thank you so That's much. Fine. It's called business. You complained. And Thank made you so no much. Money. But your team wanted to move the fight to March because you're clearly not in shape. Isn't that right, Liam? You wanted to move the fight to March. That's a fact. Oh, That's, a That's a fact. That's a fact. Let's hear from your trainer, Hall of Famer Sugar Shane Mosley. What kind of? <laughs> yes. What kind of fighter is this guy? Man, he's, he's a beast. I mean, as far as him just starting to come to the game of boxing, man, he has great power, great speed. He's a great athlete. I mean, there's a lot of guys up in there that, that train with him, that are professionals that run with him and do different things, and they can't even keep up with him. He's, he's on a mission. He's, he's upset right now. He really wants to. I mean, th I think that it was, it's a... It's, uh, it's kind of bad that, that KSI put Gibbs in front of him because it really that's what that's he really wants to knock out KSI, you know, because he's he's really mad. But but Gibbs is standing in his way, so he has to he has to he has to knock Gibbs out. What do you think about Gibbs? Have you seen any footage of him? No. Oh man. <laughs> well, it, Gibbs, what I've seen on in the fight. You know, he's not, he's not polished. He's not, he doesn't throw the correct punches. Yes, he has energy and stuff like that, but that's not going to work with, with Jake. I can't, I can't see it working with Jake. So, but, that's, but that's the footage that I have of him is his last fight. So I don't know what he can do right now. You know what I'm saying? Just like the footage they have of him is from his last fight. So they have to base everything on his last fight. Um, 
I can tell you that it's, it's going to look a lot different from his last fight. When so you, what's your prediction? Do you think this fight goes the I distance? Don't, I don't think it goes the distance. I think he stops him. And, you know, I'm saying like about the third round. I'm just being honest. I think he stops about third. Maybe, maybe even earlier he can go into first. You know, I, I hope that he, the, the viewers get a chance to see uh, something. And he, de he does go a, a, a little ways. But from what I can see from his last fight, it's a no-go. Vidal Riley, one of the great boxers of our lifetime, our generation. You heard what he had to say. What are your thoughts on Jake Paul and Gibb? Well, you know, first of all, thank everyone for coming out tonight or today, whatever. Um, it's good to be here as always. It's good to be back. Um, Jake is a good fighter. You know, I'm an honest person. Uh, Jake is a good fighter. I feel he's a better fighter than Logan in most ways. So we have to prepare for Gibb to be better than JJ was. Um, Shane obviously being in coaching him is good for him. Shane's experienced, but Shane can't fight for him. And that's from my coaching view, that's how I'm treating it. You know, if we was fighting Shane Mosley, that's different. But we're not. We're fighting Jake Paul. Can Jake Paul do everything? Yeah, no says? shit. Yeah, okay, cool. But yeah, I'm just hooking. I'm saying what I have to say. Can you do what Shane is teaching you? That's the question. We'll find out January the 30th. I know Gibb can do what I tell him to do, and he's never lost. And I've never lost as a coach, so I go into this with extreme confidence because I've never taken it L. So I intend to continue that. This will be the last time I coach, and then I'll focus on my own career. That's it. From what we've seen from Gibby, he's very, very aggressive. How do you hone that aggression and turn it into a more polished style that can be effective? Well, we just focus on defense, you know, focus on defense more. His attack, is he, fair enough, you can see he can attack. I can see, if Shane can see he got bad defense, I can assure you I can see his defense has been bad, and that's something we're working on. You know, a fighter has weaknesses, and they have strengths, and we're going to strengthen his weaknesses. That's it. Shane Mosley predicted a knockout for Jake Paul. What do you predict? I think Gibb will stop him in round four, round four or five, you know, uh, just based on the pressure, being refined. How come, he couldn't stop, how come he couldn't stop Jay Swingler, who weighed 170 pounds in his 5'8"? How come he couldn't stop him? Because that was last year, and he, isn't, he wasn't as good then. Simple as that. It's a new he's, he's never stopped year. someone. He, can't, he doesn't have punching power, so explain he, he that. He has stopped someone. So if you check, if you have checked, he stopped someone. He, he couldn't stop Jay Swingler. That's a fact. He didn't stop Jay Swingler. I don't know what you, what you want me to say to that. It's, it's a fact. He didn't stop him. But it doesn't mean he can't stop you. You're a different fighter. Different time, different event doesn't matter. You can talk about the past. I can talk about your performance against Deji. Your nose was bleeding. doesn't matter, does it? Because we're here now. We're fighting this year. So leave the past in the past. Focus on the future. Both guys will come out and fight hard and give a win. Round four or five. That's my prediction. You've made it clear that you'd like to fight KSI, avenge your brother's loss. What does Gib represent in that path towards your ultimate goal? Yeah, Gib, uh, Gib's a doormat to me. Uh... He's, he's merely something I'm wiping my shoes on, on the path to avenge my brother. You know, my brother lost, uh, you know, because of a two-point deduction. It was a controversial win for KSI, but KSI got the win. And all respect to him, but uh, I'm just a different fighter. I, I have a different mentality. And after I beat Gibb, KSI is going to get the smoke. KSI has already said he's down. So to me, that's where this is naturally all going. I'm going to be here again in a couple of months after this fool gets knocked out. All of the familiar faces, we're going to be having the same exact conversation, but KSI is going to be sitting across, and that's what's going to happen. Your thoughts on him already perhaps overlooking you to fighting KSI? That sounds like his problem, not mine. My aim has been to grab that WBC belt that he's lugging around everywhere he goes, and after that fight, I, I want to make sure that he brings it. I don't know what you've been told. Training in Big Bear's pretty cold. I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to fib. I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to fib. Jake's going to knock out Big Nose Gib. I'm going to knock out Big Nose Gib. And if you're not polite, sir, you will not be allowed at the after party, so mind your fucking hands. Facts. After party at 11. Uh, why are you talking about fighting? After You're party fighting at 11. Well, well, why are you talking? After party at 11. Why are you gonna, talking? Have you been to Miami? Carry in the belt. Why? Have you been to Miami? The only fight that you've done is allegedly beat ha, women. Ha, why, ha, why are you talking? Ha, have, you, have you been to Miami? Wait. It's lit. Bugatti's boats. You're fun. invited. Wait, do what? Your party. After fuck party. your party. And fuck you. I'm coming for that belt. You're getting clotted. And that's so you it. don't want to come? To come to your shit party? No. You don't Thank come to the after you. Party. Boo. No? Boo. Well, you're invited. You're invited. Am I invited? Can I come? 
Todd, you can most certainly be there. Thank you. So you're, you're excited about the after party. You're excited about being in Miami. You're excited about fighting KSI. It doesn't seem that you're too into fighting Gibb. I wouldn't say that. You know, I think it, I think it comes off as me overlooking him. But, again, I'm, I'm, I know I'm training harder than him. Uh, and I'm putting, in, I'm putting in so much effort. Again, he started his training camp uh, two, two days ago. I've been training uh, with my brother every single day since his training camp started. Um, so, you know, it seems like I'm overlooking him because that's the narrative that we've built. But at the end of the day, I have to defeat him first. So January 30th is what I'm focused on, but I know I'm going to win. So it's just a natural progression to me fighting KSI. But if, I'm if, training my ass off like, all hell like breaks he's the best loose. fighter in the world. If somehow all hell breaks loose and you do lose, what does that do to you, your career, and your future? Next question. In your heart, who do you think wants the win the most? In your heart. So here's the you thing. you think you want this win more than me in this fight? I would bet my house on it. Here's the thing. You have nothing. You bet your house on it. You have nothing to lose. You have nothing to lose. This is your biggest payday. This is your 15 seconds of fame. You're seven and a half seconds in. How is it? How is it so far? Is it, is it good? Is it good? Is it good? You you're enjoying the 15 seconds of fame. Soak it in while you can. Not bad to be honest, <laughs> especially since I'm doing better than you. But he, but here's the thing. I, you have nothing to lose. I have everything to lose. I'm Jake Paul, the big bad wolf. So if you, what do you do when your name's you, in the dirt? If you think, well, if, what do you do when you I think, beat you? If you think you have a mental edge over me, you're fucking wrong, kid. I do. You're I, do. Wrong. I, I do. I do. You know wrong. I've been wanting this fight. You didn't want this Ju fight. Judgment Day Did is you coming. want this fight? Judgment Day no. is coming. You didn't want this fight. January 30th, fight everything that you you're saying right now, you're going to build your profile. That's what you told the zone. Let me build my profile. That's what he said. Judgment Day is coming. You are getting smoked. Knocked down repeatedly until you are stopped. Okay. All right. Judgment Day is coming, buddy. And Gib, if you do win this, what, how does your life change? How does your future change? What's your world look like if you beat Jake Paul? I'm immortalized. The pool name is done. We got a guy that's fought twice and lost. He hasn't even won a fight yet. You, you beat a person that had no, no camp. So when I beat you, you are finished. You are finished and I'm immortalized, and that's it. Clip that. Clip it. Clip it. I would love that. Clip that. All right, before we go, we'll give you a chance to, to say your final goodbyes to your audience, to all your fans watching. What can they expect to see in Miami Thursday, January 30th? I plan on putting on a show, uh, making it exciting. And uh, you're gonna see you're gonna see a very different fighter than you guys have ever seen before. Uh, I've been training, putting in the time, effort, and energy, and I'm just ready to go. January 30th. It's a Thursday, by the way, so mark that in your calendars. Uh, live on the zone. Subscribe, download the app right now, get your tickets, be there, and uh, let's get rowdy. Can the Paul brothers, or can Miami handle the Paul brothers that weekend after the fight? <laughs> nope. <laughs> Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> All right. Your final thoughts on facing Jake Paul. What can your fans expect from you that night? They expect a great performance. They expect him on the canvas. And my hand raise as usual. All right, so there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Tickets on sale now, Ticketmaster.com. Please download the DAZN app and subscribe now. That's the only way you can see this fight in the United States of America. Three world title fights on the card as well. Before we go, gentlemen, we'd love to have you guys do a stare down as we get set for Jake Paul and Gibb.